Good morning, children. How are you all doing? I hope you all are staying healthy and fit. Children, in this session, we will learn about being verbs. But before going into the topic, let us recapitulate a little about verbs that we learnt in our previous class. So children, let us start with what are verbs? Words that tell us what people, animals or things do are called verbs. They are also known as doing words. Verbs make a sentence complete. Let us look at a few examples of verbs or doing words. Eating, dancing, playing, swimming, and reading are all examples of verbs because they show an action being done. And hence, these verbs are also known as action verbs. So children, now that we know what are verbs, let us go a little further in this session and learn about being verbs. So, what are being verbs? Verbs like is, am and are tell us how people, animals or things are now in the present time. The verbs was and were tell us how people, animals or things were in the past. These verbs like is, am, are, was and were are called being verbs. They can also be used as helping verbs to help other verbs express themselves. Let us look at a few sentences with am, is and are. I am a boy. In this sentence, am is the being verb. She is my teacher. In this sentence, is is the being verb. It is a book. In this sentence, again, is is the being verb. The boys are happy. In this sentence, are is the being verb. Sarah and Tia are best friends. Here again, are is the being verb that is being used. Children, please remember that we use am with I, is with he, she, it and singular nouns and are with you, we and plural nouns. Children, now let us look at a few sentences where am, is and are are used as helping verbs. So, what is a helping verb? A helping verb is a verb that helps to express the action of the main verb in the sentence. Let us all look at the first sentence. I am playing football. In this sentence, the helping verb am is helping to express the action of the main verb playing. So we see in this sentence that the main verb playing needs the help 
of the helping verb am to make complete sense. Let's have a look at the next sentence. Amy is baking a cake. In this sentence, is is the helping verb that helps to express the action of the main verb baking. Let us look at another sentence. The children are singing. In this sentence, are is the helping verb that helps to express the action of the main verb singing. Children, apart from am, is, and are, was, and were, are also being verbs. Was is the past tense form of am and is, and were is the past tense form of are. So children, let us look at a few sentences with was and were. Let us look at the first sentence. I was tired last night. So here, was is the being verb. Let's look at another sentence. It was very sunny yesterday. In this sentence, was is the being verb. Let us look at one last example. The clowns were colorful and funny. In this sentence, were is the being verb. Children, we should remember that we use was with I, he, she, it and singular nouns. And we use were with you, we, they and plural nouns. Children, just like other being verbs, was and were can also be used as helping verbs. So now, let us look at a few sentences where was and were are used as helping verbs. Let us take the example of the first sentence. My mother was cooking dinner for us. In this sentence, the helping verb was is helping to express the action of the main verb cooking. So children, if we look closely into this sentence, we will notice that the main verb cooking can express itself completely only with the help of the helping verb was. Otherwise, the sentence would read, my mother cooking dinner for us, which would hardly make any sense. Let us look at another sentence. They were reading a book. In this sentence, were is the helping verb that helps to express the action of the main verb reading. Let's look at the last sentence. Sam and Rhea were playing. In this sentence, were is the helping verb that is helping to express the action of the main verb playing. Otherwise, the sentence would read, my mother cooking dinner for us, which would hardly make any sense. With this, children, we come to the end of today's session. I hope you all enjoyed learning about being verbs. So, till next time, bye-bye and stay safe. Stay safe.